Right now, a local man is in the hospital after a brutal assault in Spring Garden. He was beaten and robbed, followed by his home. I'm Shana Ferreira. I'm Jason Martinez, and tonight we're also hearing from his wife about the terrifying ordeal. Here's our Jenny Joyce. Tonight, a man is in the hospital with severe head injuries while his wife and four-year-old son sit at home hoping and praying he will be okay. He has all sorts of tubes and wires coming out of his body, and he was just so miserable and, and agitated. And Michelle Ferrara says her husband, Benjamin, is currently in the ICU at Jefferson Hospital after he was brutally assaulted and robbed Friday night just two blocks from their home. Ferrara says her husband left the house around 8.20 to see a show at Union Transfer. A neighbor shared surveillance video that shows the moments before the attack. Benjamin walking down the street, unaware that a teen was about to come barreling up behind him along with three others and take him to the ground. He has like staples completely running down his head and, and along the side of his head because they removed a part of his skull to alleviate the pressure on his brain. Michelle says she got a call from the hospital around 9.30 p.m. Friday saying her husband suffered severe head trauma with a brain bleed. At first, medics thought he was hit by a car, but a police source confirms the suspect seen in this video beat and robbed the victim, taking his wallet, car keys, and later his vehicle. All four were taken into custody Saturday morning while Benjamin lies in a hospital bed with months of recovery time ahead of him. His his wife and four-year-old son just want him home. The fact that it was four minors who attacked my husband, I have no words, I, honestly. Um, to know that they had not just zero regard for his life, but for their for their own. Michelle says she's always felt safe in the neighborhood until the pandemic hit. She hopes her story serves as a warning to others to keep their guard up. People should maybe be on a little bit higher alert than they might have been a couple years ago. The district attorney's office confirms that the four juveniles are in custody, charged with robbery, aggravated assault, and related offenses. The case remains under investigation. Reporting for Fox 29 News, I'm Jennifer Joyce.